at the June 6th, uh, Jim Barrett at RJO Futures. Okay, after a sicko number of 38,000 jobs last Friday and down revisions as high as 59,000 the previous two months, uh, Fed sure looked out of step, uh, or maybe just doesn't know that much about the U.S. economy. Anyways, Yellen's uh, speech today, uh, kind of a damage control thing. I mean, she said, uh, although recent labor market report was unbalanced concerning, let me emphasize one should never attach too much significance to a single monthly report. Really? Something that bad? Actually, it's three bad monthly reports because, as I said, uh, the jobs were revised downward 59,000 in April and March. Okay, so three bad months. Uh, said an important theme of remarks is the inevitable uncertainty surrounding the outlook for the economy. Well, duh. Uh, but it's supposed to be their job to have some idea uh, to be somewhat in step with reality. Anyways, uh, okay, uh, basically maybe in a safe face saving uh, mode. She still called rate hikes appropriate in the recent future uh, if the data allows. Uh, June, I think you can roll out July. If the, uh, if the Brits don't decide to leave the EU in the vote in two weeks, uh, you know, maybe there's a possibility these numbers do turn around. It seems pretty unlikely. Uh, but of course she's going to say that so they don't look, you know, completely out of step. Uh, anyways, the uh, reality is the notes and bonds are lower today. I mean, after the huge, huge rally Friday on this data, we're down half a point in the bonds and maybe four to six ticks in the notes. The uh, reason for that probably is because S&Ps are pushing new highs for the year. I mean, uh, uh, the stock swoon back in January, February is uh, just a distant memory, and, and we're not far from all-time highs. In fact, uh, I believe we're up 12 points or so in the S&P as we speak, uh, and uh, obviously it puts a, a little pressure on the, uh, on the bonds in the sense that money is also going into the stock market, clearly. Uh, but the real measure... Uh, uh, the bonds are up against, or the, what the bonds got going for them, I should say, is uh, the German 10-year boon is approaching new all-time lows of like 0.73 percent. Uh, French, uh, no, I, I, excuse me, 0.07 percent. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, the Japanese, of course, have got negative rates. Uh, UK, one and a quarter. So, so the U.S. rate around 165 here in the tens, for instance is going to attract some interest regardless of what the stock market is doing. Uh, so that's the real story. Uh, and the market is more concerned, or the market is moved more by that issue, I believe, than whether the Fed is going to possibly move in June or July, which again look like long shots. Uh, what else? As far as reports for the week, uh, got a couple of things coming up. I can find them here. All right. Uh, uh, Wednesday, it looks like... Uh, uh, well, the, 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 I, I didn't mention the, the, uh, the oil market. The oil is holding tough. Uh, Yellen did mention inflation is moving in the direction they want, which is slightly higher, of course. Uh, so we've got to watch the, uh, 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 the oil stocks report on Wednesday morning. There's also a 10-year note auction. Uh, Treasury is selling debt. Everything, every, there's demand for the reasons that we've already gone over should be big. Uh, Thursday, the regular jobless claims, and this time the net gas report, and the 30-year bond auction. And then uh, Friday morning, we get a consumer sentiment number and the Baker Hughes uh, count. Uh, finally, uh, in, the, in the Wall Street Journal today, uh, an interesting comment. Uh, uh, Bernie Sanders has oversold the benefits of financial transaction tax. Well, I, I think that's the understatement of the year. That's an interesting read, if anybody cares to take a look at that. I can reach at 800-500-2461. Thank you. If futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.